Welcome to the Epic TV Surf Report and the second show in the series, Slater Watch, Bali Bagus. On the last edition of Slater Watch, Kelly had just won the Vulcan Fiji Pro. Congratulations at Kelly Slater, hashtag Vulcan Fiji Pro Champion. He dedicated the win to his new nephew, who he couldn't wait to fly back to Florida to see. I just can't wait to get home again and squeeze my little nephew. Hashtag Van Carter Slater. No news on whether he actually met the newest member of the Slater clan or not before flying off to the next event in Indonesia. It had been around for a year already, but this super slow-mo footage of Kelly free surfing in Bali had everyone in proper froth mode by the time he arrived to attend the hashtag Oakley Pro. The champ did have some trouble though adjusting to his new poolside surroundings as pointed out by longtime confident and former tour rival, Ross Williams. Life's tough on the road for at Kelly Slater, hashtag slumming it, this was confirmed by his relegation to the losers round two by Damian Hobgood in his first heat of the event. Of course, up against 15 year old Aussie Jack Robinson in the second round, Kelly wasn't exactly looking for redemption. Funny that an angry internet villager with pitchfork, in this case Peter Perfect, would come to the champ's defense after being dissed by Surfer Mag about his round one performance. At Surfer Magazine? At Kelly Slater redeemed himself? How quickly you forget he fucking schooled the whole tour last week. Whatevs. After walking all over local wildcard Putra Hermawan in round three, Kelly faced off with Josh Kerr and John John Florence in what was being hyped as the super heat, and it lived up to its billing. Not sticking to the script though, Josh Kerr walked away with the win. Third time's the charm, as the saying goes. The Hobgood family was certainly leading a charmed existence where Kelly was concerned, handing the champ two of his three defeats in the event, including the knockout punch at the hands of CJ in round five. Editor's note. For those unfamiliar with surf contests, at the ASP, it is possible for a competitor to lose twice without being ousted from the event. Since he had nothing better to do, Kelly stuck around to give the webcast commentators and the surfing world at large a quite frank piece of his mind about the judging and the contest in general. Right when our heat started, I, I just got caught up in, in that whole debacle before. I mean, the, obviously the waves are pumping, the two heats before mine waves are unbelievable. And, and then, um, you know, there's a big kind of uh, debate happening with everyone about the scoring and stuff in that heat before ours. And He spoke his mind so freely that Surfer Mag editor Brendan Thomas let this tweet fly. Thanks at Ross Williams and at Kelly Slater for the most honest analysis of a world tour heat I've heard. Don't find fire them at ASP. All right, boys, good job and uh, thank you. He needn't have worried since the man in charge of finding ASP surfers owes Kelly one after miscalculating the points and declaring him world champion a heat early in 2011. An early exit from surfing with a singlet on, but Slater fans could still watch him surf on the web through his exploits in a solid video tweeted here by Magic Seaweed of the King at Shipstern's Bluff. Paddling Shipstern, you don't know what you're gonna get dished up, even if your name is Kelly Slater. Outside the lineup, Kelly recently had time to sit down with Men's Health Italy and fill them in on all his secrets about maintaining a perfect physique. Then of course, there were all the topics in the news that Kelly didn't want to talk about. Peter Pan summed it up perfectly in this tweet. At Kelly Slater showing all of us what's more important than Trestles, Maldives, and Monsanto. Hashtag Oakley Pro. Which would be hanging out with his girlfriend and his number one fan in Indo. And the surfy surfer couldn't even kid himself into thinking that Kelly would comment on the teaser fiasco. Maybe at Kelly Slater will weigh in on the sexist Roxy teaser. Ha 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 ha. Just kidding, KS. We know you won't. Apparently, I'm in good company running fluffy subjects on Kelly Slater in a crass attempt to garner page views. ESPN Surfing recently let this one fly. At Kelly Slater in one word? Hmm. Don't bother watching the whole ESPN video though. It's worse than this Slater watch shit. The next Dream Tour stops in Tahiti, but in the meantime, Mr. Slater is just hanging out in Oz, surfing secret spots, sightseeing with his lady friend, and doing a bit of fishing. 
Always the consummate professional though, Kelly still managed to sit down with Surfer Mag and give the people staffing those cubicles a little bit of insight into his frontside 360 air against Taj Burrow in New York. It's listed in the Bible of the Sports annual big issue as one of the greatest rides of all time. Kelly Slater's frontside reverse in the dying moments of his semifinal matchup against Taj Burrow in New York is just one of the greatest rides on our list. Guess it's safe to say that John John's alley-oop will be in there too. And on that note, thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Epic TV Surf Report. Until next time, don't forget, a pro surfer's shit stinks just as bad as yours. I know the people and Rastafari.